Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Anonymous, and today I am doing part two of Captain Un of Escape Poopy Pants Obby. I am right where I was last time, and I just have to get past the punching hand. And it's also special guest, your local trash man. With you and I will be voice acting. Yes, you will be reading. <laughs> She will be reading the text of the characters. The little, the little people. <laughs> and here comes some now. Okay, <clears throat> I can do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> can somebody explain why I woke? <laughs> okay, I look so sorry. <laughs> can somebody explain why I woke up naked in this wet and slimy sewer? You're all in big trouble. And then there's also Melvin. I told you, I, the principal, what you did, and you're in big trouble now. Thanks, Melvin. Oh, oh, um, oh my god, here we go again. Poopy Pants is on a rampage out there. We, you've got, you gotta stop him while we keep, mis mis while we keep distract Crump. <laughs> But, but Mr. Crump, that was Professor Poopy Pants, not us. <laughs> you two have been responsible for one prank after the another, but a giant robot made to kill everyone? That's taking it too far. This will teach you all to laugh at the name Poopy Pants. And there are running, screaming, fiery children outside. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I have to jump down there? Oh, 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 right here. Why are these children on fire? I made it outside. I just have to get away from the children and don't step on the acid. I already failed that. Um, so part two of this, this is going to be awesome. I mean, I love this game. I've completed it may way too many times in a human's life. There are on fire airplane kids. How, how, how come your airplane hasn't like caught fire and burned down yet? I don't. <laughs> Your airplane should have caught on fire and burned down. You should be dead. Oh my gosh. I, I hate airplane kids. I hate them. Oh. How? Oh my god. Um. The squid lady. Excuse me, ma'am. I. I'm just gonna pass you. Yep. She's on fire. Thank you. And checkpoint. There are way too many airplane kids now. I really don't like this. And this lunch lady is on fire. Um, <laughs> I would literally be dead right now if this was not a video game. I would be dead already. <laughs> These alien ladies would have burned me in the stage where the bouncing bouncing Well, they would be spinning were. in circles. All you have to do is just kind of, you know, just... Well, yeah, but <laughs> they wouldn't be spinning in circles if this wasn't a video game and this was real life because they would I mean, be but if you were inside the video game... I would be freaked out and would have been dead because <laughs> I just got smashed. hit by an alien lady on fire. <laughs> oh, I thought she was a robot. Nah, she's, she's from space. She's the one who turned the kids into zombies. With their awfully good buttermilk. Buttermilk? Remember? Oh, yes, yes, they have delicious yep. buttermilk. She said it was awfully good. You shouldn't have eaten it. Yes, I did it. I did it, finally. Usually, I'm always on that stage forever. <laughs> Bouncing hamburgers. I don't think I can make... No! I want... No! <laughs> I hate the stages. I hate these stages. Bouncing hamburger. Bouncing hamburger! Ah! Bouncing hamburger. I barely made it onto Bouncing that cheese. Ah. Come on, you can do it! Oh my god. 
You know you could have double jumped while you were in there. Well, no, well, it would be harder. Whoa, those tires are crazy. Might good use for a prank in the future. No, George. All right, you're Harold. But why? Like, because you're could, going to kill everyone. We can put tigers in the lockers. No, you're going to kill everyone. Like, for no, real. no, we're we're gonna have them on a leash. On a leash. Yeah. Tigers on a leash. Yeah. Are you sure you're just not going crazy? You didn't no, do like one we, of those like new teenager the... trends, did you? No, no, no. Like, uh, you know the uh, um, uh. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Okay, George. <laughs> what, Melvin? Ah, I set up a, I set up another quiz to slow you down. This one is for extra credit. You're not a teacher, Melvin. I'm gonna listen to you. Who cares? You're gonna get in big trouble after this anyway. Boom. I passed the first one. Animated by, um, uh-oh. Yes, I got it right! How many days in total did it spend to make this hobby? Only ten days? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Melvin, I got past your little quiz. Huh. Don't worry, because... You know, we took it down even without my quiz, and I still get extra credit because you be took it down by me. Mm -hmm. Good luck, loser. Melvin, you're not as smart as you think. Uh, did you know I was five months when I created the first I LED robot worker? Did you know I don't care? Did you know that you're dumb? That's why you just use my machines every time you need help with PE. PE is easy. Mmm, then why did you need to create that machine in the first place, Noodle Arms? Because I didn't want to be carrying a couch that's been there for 2,000 years. Carried with the heaviest coins. Mmm, well, if you weren't Noodle, if you didn't have Noodle Arms, then you would have been able to do it. You want to carry a 500 pound couch by yourself? No, we want to make comic books about you having... Being dumb. <laughs> and your trains. Alright, whatever, Mel Melvin. On the top of that, on the top floor of this building, there is someone who can help us. Let's move. Okay, Harold. Oh my god, there's so many talking toilets. Make a run for it, make a run for it. Ah! Oh my god, there's a talking toilet there. Nobody told me that. Are you talking toilet too, or? <laughs> why does the, why does the toilet look like it's peeing? No. Are you in this ball? is the most stage I hate. I hate this stage the most. This one is the worst stage out of all of them. Harold, I thought you said it was a person. Wait, what the? Sorry for that little interruption. I'm <laughs> going to hit those airplane kids. Come on, And they are going to fall into the acid. Hi, it's Melvin again, and I'm going to take over her channel. She's never going to get past this. Just let you guys know that. Melvin, I've been past this stage a bunch of times. It's just a little bit hard. Your puny brain couldn't get past it anyway. You want to, you're the one, all, plus, anyway, I could say that you're the one always wanting homework because you need to challenge yourself to get your brain smarter. That's good. How's that bad? Because you have a puny brain. So you're trying to get it smarter. It's pretty obvious, Melvin. That's a good thing! To have a puny brain? Are you dumb? No! To learn, dummy! Mm. You don't even get what I'm talking about.
anyway, Melvin, I'll be fine. It's just a tiny bit hard. Plus, I would like to have you come out here and try this. I would just fly up there with a jetpack. Then go ahead and do it. But, but guess what? You want to know something? You want to know something? Why I can't? Because I have Robux and you don't. Mm, I actually do have Robux. How, how much do you have? I used it all because I had a bunch. I had 800 Robux. Exactly. <laughs> I had 800, though. How much did you have? Two million. Whatever, Melvin, go away. <laughs> Before I stuff a sock in your mouth. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. Don't worry. I snapped my fingers and... Crump is changed back to, into Kathy Underpants. I'll let you have uh, the honest sidekick. You've been through more than me today. Meet the leader of the resistance, Weird Al Yankabout. I don't get it. Only the powers of the music can destroy the beast. Melvin, of course you don't get it because you have a puny brain. No, I don't. Yes, they you just do. Make, they just logically make no sense. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Ooh, Melvin, I told you I get it. I'll be back. I'll be back this Halloween with a spooky insulator, rare, rare or something. If you want to, if you want to play over again from the start, you can head through this door. If you want to play another cool game, go through this door. Oh, you're so funny! Blah 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 blah. blah. All's well ends well, and the city may have been destroyed with thousands of jobless, homeless, and hospitalized. But we can still party! George, you're crazy. Harold, you're crazy. I'm literally re not remembering you guys' names. You saved the day! Nice work, man! You wanna buy some bootlegged merch to celebrate? Who says bootlegged? <sighs> I finally don't get it. Like, seriously, what's so funny? Nice work, dude. Oh, nice work, dude. We're not dis disco comfort anymore. Think that nerds, if you want to call them, that's only got more hip and it's new into the culture. Wow. Oh, there's one more. Congratulations, you've been this city's new hero. See, Melvin, I told you I'd get past it. You just got past because by, by luck, Lady Luck has always been on her side, but if she wasn't there, you would have been destroy but melvin even if she wasn't there wouldn't you be able to do it since you have such a big brain yes have you seen my brain compared to y'all's i'm in all okay but extra classes but did you stop me no and if you were in extra classes you wouldn't be in a class with me and harold i didn't mean extra classes i'd be like what the, what's the word uh Dumb classes? No, yeah. uh, smarter classes so I don't have to teach the dumb kids everything every day. Whatever, Melvin. Just stop talking before I get one of those dirty socks from the gym. Oh, you're nasty. I'm going to tell Principal Crump that you're, that you're going to bring tigers into the school with George. I don't... First of all, I'm not even Harold, and uh, second of all, I don't even go to the school. 
Then why are you here? To save the day. Uh, whatever. I don't have enough time. I have to go back and do a lecture anyway. Whatever. Bye, Melvin. Goodbye. Alright guys, that'd be the end of today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to go over to local underscore trash lady, trash bandit, local, local underscore, underscore trash, trash bandit. bandit. Go to her channel. It, she will be opening it soon. Bye.